Uh, I'm joined here now at the launch of the Senior Hurling and Football and Intermediate Hurling and Football Championships here in Cusick Park in Innes and the launch of our new sponsor here in Clare, which is uh, to, uh, to, to US Sports, which is fantastic to have them. But I'm joined by a man here, he's just told me, I, I had a guess at how many county championships, I was out one. He's won seven Senior Hurling Championships in Clare, he's played 11 Senior Finals. That's phenomenal, Sean, Sean Steck. Uh, sure, look, at they were... A lot of championships you'd win because maybe the opposition are super, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and you'll win some luckily. And uh, like we won a few lucky ones. We stole a few off our castle, you know what I mean? Probably lost one to a rogue that we should have won, but I mean, it is an experience. To get to a final, I suppose, look at, you, you have to have luck along the way and get all your players healthy and all the vital players healthy anyway. That's number one, and especially now that we're facing into a very condensed uh, period. You know, how many teams will f will finish out with their strongest 15 in the, in the, in the quarter final or something? Yeah. You know what I mean? Very few. So you have to be lucky with injuries. Last last year we were very unlucky with injuries. You were yeah. vital players, and come down to extra time in the semi final. We're we're hoping this year we will run a bit better luck than that. Yeah. And that's a big thing. It didn't seem to be there years ago, Sean. I don't know, maybe different training regimes, whatever. But a lot of people are talking about players, how many players seem to be getting injured. Uh, in, 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 you know, I suppose there's so much more pressure on Oleg and the, the game at the ante has been really, really upped in regards to training and physios and... Yeah, strength condition is a word I never heard of when I was playing. I'm sure you didn't hear of it either, Sean, but uh, it was there as well. We still did it, though. Yeah. I mean, it, it isn't new. It is, it is, it is, it is, the language is a bit different, maybe. Yeah. But there was yeah. still strength and conditioning. But I suppose you yeah. had more manual hurlers back in the 70s. I mean, there were fellas with manual jobs. Yes. There were farmers and carpenters and block layers. And there are too many of those around now. I, I, don't, I couldn't name a farmer on the team, on any, any team. Uh, Tell, yeah. me, tell me about it. Like I yeah. had to give a block there five hundred today, like to do a small job. I mean, you get a house bill for five hundred back then. <laughs> but, uh, so, but they're not. And I yeah. suppose the fact that a lot of jobs are sedentary, then um, you know, you have to be very careful with your warm up, and you have to be very careful what type of training you do or what. It, but now that you want to, teams want to be getting ready now, like because it's every it's every other week from here on in. Yeah. And that's just for the hurling clubs. That's Football right. clubs must be a nightmare. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it, it, it certainly was. Back in the day, Sean, when you were winning county titles, what was your routine? You were you were playing obviously with Clare at the time, and they were you, you would you would be playing with Clare one week, and then if you were, in the next week you could be playing with, playing with Six Mile Bridge. There wasn't a split season. There wasn't. They were sort of played in tandem that time. Yeah. Ah, they were frustrating times too because you, you, I mean, especially in the eighties and nineties, you had no idea when, uh, when the club championship was on. Because I if and if and both then if they're win this and if they don't win that, but at least now, at least people know their dates now. You know what I mean? That's a big thing, and they yeah. can take their holidays and they can get married or get divorced or whatever, for whatever dates for it. But um, at least, but the, it's the condensed period now, and that means a lot of luck comes into it. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm just saying that we were unlucky last year with injuries, but some other club will run into them this year. Yeah. But we're hoping, <laughs> rather than us. Yeah. But, um, so if you get your top 15 out and start reaching the quarter final, you know, I mean, you'll be, you'll yeah. be lucky enough. The, the first round is always vital, Sean. I think most people would say that, that winning the first round, it takes a bit of pressure off. You can express yourself probably better, you know. So, but so the, the, the difference is, if you lose your first round, now there's a fear of losing your second round because you're staring at possible relegation. Maybe. Yeah. So it's a fine line. that fear factor comes into it, and that will affect your performance. So the, the first round, and if you win it, then somebody is going to beat somebody else. Maybe you know what I mean. After like we're facing, we were the group. Just we're facing Crushing, monumental task the first day. We know what they'll bring. Then we're staring down the face of Clonlara coming at us two weeks later, and then meeting the cup winners the, uh, and the third weekend, third match. So um, to get over the first round is huge, yeah. It's, it's, a huge, it's a huge thing, yeah. The team you played with, Sean, arrived, I think, uh, I can remember the county final with the year back in the 70s there. Yeah. Uh, you won your first county final, and the floodgates opened for you then, like, you, you had 11 more county finals to look forward to after that, so... Yeah. 
know. Winning that first one is a big thing. Bellier have done it now, and they're going for three in a row. So it's a, yeah, it's a big thing. Like, when was it three in a row done before? Like, I mean, yeah. I'm definitely. I don't think was it Newmarket in '74 or something? Probably like, Newmarket, the yeah. Books? Yeah. But nobody has done three. So like, we have done two several times in the bridge, but. I mean, we're always hitting the flat season then. Yes. And Belier facing into the third year now would be a great sign of them if they can raise it and have the same appetite again. So um, we're not talking about twos or threes. Yeah. We're talking about just pushing next Sunday weekend. That's our, that's our sole focus and be right for that. Yeah. We don't expect... I mean, you're not going to go out in the first round and play the standard of hurling that you will if you reach a quarter or semi like, but you're hoping for a grafting performance and just hard work and get over that hurdle and I'm sure Trosina look at it in the same light. Absolutely, Sean. I suppose when you look behind you there to us, are the, are the sponsors, you were a teacher yourself. It's 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 fantastic work done by Clare County Board to get these guys on board here and especially we have a big involvement here in Inner Snow at the moment yeah. and, and obviously the campus in Limerick as well. It's, uh, it's great to have that sponsorship. Oh, sure, it's brilliant and great work on Deirdre and all the, uh, the, the guys to, to coax their interest. And um, look at them. the sponsors are very much appreciated by players anyway yeah. and by uh, off, off an official level as well. Yeah. So they're very grateful to us for coming on board when they were struggling to get somebody, you know. Yeah. So um, look at it. Are they, are they Limerick? They'll be clear soon. They get a Limerick sponsor. It doesn't matter if he's from Timber too, as long as he helps us out here at home. Absolutely, absolutely, Sean. That's it. Uh, I'm looking forward to the championship anyway, Sean. I suppose as a manager, you're looking forward to getting back here, in in in, in the dugout here and, and watching your team play. And that's yeah. what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, sure. We live for this time of year, don't we? Yeah, we do. I mean, yeah. It, is, it is infectious. It is, yeah. It is an addiction that, that I have anyway. And yeah. And uh, all our mentors in the bridge, and the same with yeah. Pusheen, and the same with Bob for that and everyone else. We look forward to the championship as an extra yeah. place, isn't it? We, we were a bit disappointed after the Allianz semi final, but hugely proud of our management and our team, uh, of what they've done over the last couple of years. It's been, it's, it has hurling in Clare. In it. We won the minor championship, but that's huge, huge. Munster and All Ireland against a very fancy Galway team to go out and do that. Our under 20s played in a fantastic. Munster final, uh, uh, an inch away from winning that as well. So hurling is really going really well here in Clare. Yeah, it's great. Look at and sort of look at after a defeat like in Crow Park, you will have some people that just happen to feel for the game and they'll be critical of the what did this and why did that happen and yeah. why did so and so play here. But yeah. the management have to be admired. Yeah. I mean, to get that team to play that that standard of hurling. I mean, there was movements in that match or right up to Rogers' gimme goal that was a lucky yeah. block and then you have a super save at the other end and I mean that could have been nine points for Clare too. We we'll just can't get over the line and that must yeah. be awful frustrating for the players but God what a year of enjoyment they've given us in the last two years like we are seriously proud of them and we have mar we have players for the ages like absolutely yeah. marvellous players and um, and then, of course, look, we'll go back to the minors, as you mentioned. I mean, a huge thanks to Donald Maloney, Keir McDermott. I mean, marvellous yeah. men. We're Fuck so lucky to yeah. have guys like that yeah. that are doing that and putting so much thought into it and bringing all these kids along. And go to Carroll on any Saturday morning and it's like being rejuvenated. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Sean, we look forward to seeing them players bursting onto the scene some of the minors some of the under 20s and, and of course the senior players as well we look forward to the weeks coming absolutely thanks for winning Sean thanks very much thanks Nicholas bye